Good morning, this is Brett from Video Hot Rod and I have an interesting little demo for you. What I have done is I have taken a 4K clip and downsampled it to different resolutions to kind of give you an idea of what it would look like if the same clip was shot with lower resolutions. Started out with 2K and then I went to 1080p here. And you can see some of the detail in the mountains is lost when you look far away looks a lot sharper over on the left side and not quite as good on the right. You can also see the license plates aren't as easy to read, although they never get seen over on the 4K side. This is 1080i. Now the interesting thing about 1080i is you'll notice the timing goes off a little bit. 1080i cannot have a 24p or 23.98 frame rate so the frame rate gets messed up and that's what makes the weird jittery look then we go to 720p and you can see a lot of the detail is now lost um, it used to be nice and sharp and clear it still looks good but you can't read the license plate anymore and then we go to standard definition and this used to be considered really good quality and it's just terrible now by our standards. You can see how blurry it looks and terrible it looks. You can't read the license plate and you can barely even read the mile marker. Okay, now we're going to get into a different shot here. This is my drone shot and what I did was I focused specifically on the drone itself because you can see the words Mavic Pro and the license tag on the drone. And I want to show that so you can see exactly what happens as it moves and with each resolution how the writing gets worse and worse. Again you can see the timing is a little off with the 1080i versus 1080p. The 1080i actually looks pretty darn good. Now the 720p and then when we get to the SD you'll see that it's that it's very blurry and almost unreadable. It is readable but you can't read Mavic Pro anymore and you won't be able to read DJI as the drone turns around. What I did here was I zoomed it in just to kind of show even more so the difference. And you can see it looks quite different. Now here you can see some pixelation already and then on this part here when we go to the SD you can see some very very drastic pixelation. It almost gives you a mosaic look. Now this clip here I did something a little different. What I did was I expanded because I took a 4k clip and put it in a different timeline. So let me explain how I made the the uh, down sampled video. What I did was I took a 4K clip and I put it into a timeline with a lower resolution. So this one was a 2K resolution. Then I, in this particular case, I actually expanded the video to fill everything. And then I exported it. And then when I brought it back in, I re-imported the, the 2K clip, brought it in and expanded that one to fill and make sure it takes up everything. So there is a little bit of a disconnect with the lines here, which is okay. I kind of wanted to show what would happen. Um, if you shoot in a 2K or a 1080p, you're going to get a different frame size. And so when you try to edit into a 4K timeline, you get a very different look to it. Um, it, it loses some of the, I believe it's the top and bottom edges in the 1080p case. And in the 2K case, it loses the side edges. And as we progress over here into the 1080i, now this one's really going to go crazy because the timing is off again. Right here. 
and you can see that jitteriness. And that, again, is because of the frame rate change. 1080i is not a standard progressive frame rate, so it uses 25i, which is a PAL version of high definition, and 29.97i, which is the NTSC version of high definition. You can also call it 30i. Um, even though it's not exactly 30 frames a second, it's slightly less. It just displays the time code as 30 frames a second. And you end up, at the end of an hour, you end up with about three seconds or six seconds longer. I forget what it is. I think it's six seconds more at the end if you use a 30, 30 frames per second frame rate. Okay, so this one went down to 720p. Now, if you look at that license plate right there, it says 147WYA, but when it comes back here into the 4K, you can see it a lot better. Now, it is closer, but you can see a definite improvement in what it looks like. So right there, you can read Roadrunner on that license plate only on the 4K side, but not on the 720p side. that one there and you can read that sticker on the top only on the 4k side so here this is the SD 720 by 486 and it just looks terrible terrible by today's standards this was amazing 20 years ago and watch as Roadrunner comes in the Roadrunner license plate. Cannot read it here, but all of a sudden, there it is. All right, this was just a little demonstration. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to shoot the same clip with many cameras. One day I'll try that, or with different settings. I'll try that later, but for now, this is what you got. All right, I'm Brett with Video Hot Rod, and thanks for watching.